hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video from by leon riggs and it's titled what they won't tell you about what happened to him and he's referring to no other person but donald trump and what happened to him at pennsylvania how he escaped an assassination attempt you guys i'm super excited to check this video out if you're here to subscribe to this channel, please consider subscribing. Give this video a massive thumbs up, comment, share, and all that good stuff. And without much ado, let's see what this video is all about. Howdy, y'all. I'm Brylan. I want to say first and foremost, let's keep President Trump in, in prayer as well as all the victims that were involved. And you're going to see the, the tragic details of that. But let's pray for the families of those involved in this. So here's a, what can really only be described as the iconic photo of Trump immediately after the attack on him at his Pennsylvania rally today. In this video, I want to share details of what happened in this attack. I want to share with you the response from the Trump campaign on how he is doing. And I also want to share with you I'm the way that the mainstream point. media is reporting on what happened to Trump at the rally today. It is insane. I also want to share with you how Democrats are reacting to this and show you how it's absolute hypocrisy at its finest. And I'm going to show you why. I'm also going to share with you Biden's reaction to all of this. He just reacted to it and put out a statement. I'm also going to show you this here. This is a man that said that he warned Secret Service of a suspicious man on a rooftop. Hmm. It's going to blow your mind how Secret Service reacted wow. to him. Last but not least, I'm going to reveal to you somebody that said they weren't going to endorse anybody who has now come out to endorse Trump after what happened today. I'm just gonna say that this is one of the biggest names on earth. First, I wanna start by showing you this. This is some of the headlines from the mainstream media reporting on what, obviously, what happened to Trump today. But I, I want you to see how USA Today, and the reason I have it on this page and not on their actual website is because you're gonna see that they actually updated their title, the title of their article, because well, look how insane it is. It says, Trump removed from stage by Secret Service after loud noises startles former Are president. Are you for real? Can you believe the absolute insanity? Wow. At this point, when they put this article out, in fact, they even have the picture of Trump with blood on his face. And they're saying that he was removed from the stage after loud noises startled him. This is the left at their finest, trying to downplay mm. what actually happened. Because they know that this shows how insane the, the left is. How insane the, the, the side that provoked this kind of attack on Trump. And then when you click on their article... Now the it's now the article title is updated to say Donald Trump rushed from stage at rally for after apparent gunshots. One person and shooter did not make it. Uh. Now they still can't come to terms with the fact that of what happened because they know that this is going well, to make them look yeah. bad because they're the perpetrators <laughs> in all reality. Mm -hmm. And they still, after apparent shots, are you kidding me? You see pictures and video yeah. of Trump himself gushing from the side of his head. So lucky. And they're literally even talking about it. The very next line is that one person and the shooter didn't make it. It's absolutely, it's disgusting. It's perverted, these people. In fact, here's video immediately after Trump getting hit. Now, the mainstream media knows this. They knew this. They see this. And they still try to make it sound like, oh, after apparent loud noises. You guys, what are your thoughts on this video? I don't know what is wrong with the mainstream media. Because everyone knows from the onset that this is an attempted assassination on President Donald Trump and I don't know why they are trying to twist their title to, to make sure that this does not paint the picture that this was an assassination attempt but let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below and let's continue watching you guys wow 
clearly has been hit. It looks like he's saying fight, fight, as if there, he's not going to stop fighting, that this isn't going to stop him. He's going to keep fighting, and that's why this picture, I mean, absolutely, this is this is the Democrats' worst nightmare yeah. right here, um, is, is this. I think by morning, you're going to see this on T-shirts, on hats. So after that moment, here's a video of an actual ER doctor talking about what happened and, and him actually helping somebody that was wounded on the scene. That's exactly where I heard him come from. What did you see, sir? Uh, I heard the shots. Um, I, um, I thought it was firecrackers to begin with. Uh, somebody over there was screaming, he's been shot, he's been shot. So I made my way over. Uh, I said, I'm an emergency department physician. Let me help you. The guy had spun around and was jammed between the benches. He had a head shot here. There was lots of blood. And he had brain matter. And, and so I got him... So yes, this is an absolute tragedy. There were people that, I think it's going to come out, unfortunately, that multiple people lost their lives in, in this attack. And uh, let's pray for them and their families. Now, it's this kind of stuff that's bewildering to me. Because again, I don't. this isn't about what you think about Trump or how you feel about Donald Trump or any of that. Whether you're Republican or Democrat, conservative, liberal, none of that. This is just the cold, hard facts. Right here, you have Democrats condemn apparent attack at Trump rally. Apparent. Again, there's that word they love to use, apparent. Even though there's video, there's literally people drenched in, in, in blood. Trump is holding his ear while blood is gushing down his face. Yet, it's just loud noises and apparently something happened. I don't know. But this is the type of hypocrisy that you see come out of so much so, so many people in our government top democrats quickly condemned the apparent attack that took place at former president trump's rally in pennsylvania on saturday trump appeared to grab his ear before he dropped behind the lectern but it's all just apparently happened or something but here's the response from schumer look at this i am horrified by what happened at the trump rally in pennsylvania and relieved that former President Trump is safe. Really, my thoughts and prayers are with the former President Trump. Nancy Pelosi. As one whose family has been the victim of political violence, I know firsthand the political violence of any kind has no place in our society. I thank God that former President Trump is safe. Wow. Uh, someone like Pelosi invoking God. I mean, it doesn't get any more ironic than that. But the list goes on. I mean, all, all, of the, all of the Democrats, all the leftists, the liberals are saying they, that they're so thankful that Trump is safe. How wonderful, really. These are the same people that have been calling Trump Hitler for eight years now. These are the same people that have called Trump the worst names on earth, say he is, the, he is literally going to end our democracy, which, again, remember, democracy to them means absolute and total control over you, the American citizens. We're not even a democracy anyway, but they love to use that word democracy. Yeah. We are a republic. Oh, and they <laughs> hate that word so much yeah. because, well, it belittles mm -hmm. their control. So pretend like it's... Hitler is the one that got hit by a bullet. Would they be saying, oh, thank God that Hitler survived? Thank God that the most evil person on earth is okay? I, I, don't, I don't get it. These people are literally, in their minds, they're thanking God that Hitler's life was saved. It doesn't get any more bizarre than that. These people... Are, are not sincere. They do not believe what they're saying. Biden is saying that he is grateful to hear that Trump is safe and has been briefed on what happened. Again, these people... You guys, what are your thoughts on this video? Aside from the fact that this is coming out from the mouth of the Democrat, I'm really, really thankful to God that Donald Trump is okay. Because imagine if the shooter hasn't missed this shot, we won't be saying what we are saying right now. So at the end of the day, we thank God that ex-president Donald Trump is okay. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. And let's wrap this video up, you guys. Uh, 
are talking out of both ends. So again, here's an update from the Trump campaign. Uh, they actually, they, they put out, they said that uh, Trump's condition, they said that Trump is fine. Wow. A spokesperson Sounds said good. former president is fine and is being checked at a medical facility. The Secret Service also said in a statement that the former hmm. president is safe. And then law enforcement officials are saying that this is being investigated as an attempted nation of the ex president now check this out this is a man that said he warned secret service of a suspicious man on a rooftop i want you to see how secret service reacted to him and listen to the rally right we couldn't see him but we could hear him so we walked up and probably five to seven minutes of trump speaking i'm estimating here i have no idea you know but um we noticed the guy crawling Arm, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building mm. beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. So we're standing there, and, you know, we're pointing, we're pointing at the guy crawling mm. up the roof. And he had a gun, right? Wow. He had a rifle. a rifle. We could clearly see him with a rifle. Absolutely. Um, we're pointing at him. The police are down there running around on the ground. We're like, hey, man, there's a guy on the roof with a rifle. And the police were like, huh, what? You know, like, like they didn't know what was going on. You know, we're like, hey, right here on the roof, we can see him from right here. We see him, you know, he's, he's crawling. And next thing you know, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why is Trump still speaking? Why have they not pulled him off the stage? I'm standing there pointing at him for, you know, two or three minutes. Secret Service is looking at us from the top of the barn. I'm pointing at that roof, just standing there like this. And wow. next thing you know, Five shots ring out. So you're, you're certain that the shots came from that guy on the roof? hundred percent. hundred percent. And again, the media is trying to treat this as if like, well, you couldn't have been right. Well, more information has come out. And yeah, it was that man on the roof that he was pointing at and that others were pointing at, trying to warn Secret Service and trying to warn the police. And they ignored him completely ignored him and I this is what happened dates. this is the kind of stuff that these Question. moments in time make you realize i mean you have people like musk here saying i fully endorse president trump and hope for his rapid recovery now if i remember right he said that he was not going to endorse anybody but this is what this kind of situation is going to do but i just want to say that this is one of the absolute most pivotal moments uh, in our country that we're living in right now. And for something like this to happen, this is one of those moments that you can't stay silent on. You know, and obviously this brings up thoughts of uh, Kennedy, you know, and what happened to him. Uh, but also I think of Reagan, Ronald Reagan, and how there was an attempt on his life that didn't work. And in fact, you know, he went into the hospital room and asked the doctor if he was a Democrat and wanted to make sure that all the surgeons were Republicans mm. to make sure he was going to leave that hospital alive. Uh, just showed uh, Reagan's sense of humor in such a dark time. And I think you're going to see something similar from Trump. I want you to remember this. This is 1 Timothy chapter 2. This is not about how you feel about any candidate. This is about praying for your leaders regardless of who they are. Check this out. First of all, then, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for all people, for kings, and all who are in high positions, that we may lead a peaceful and quiet life, godly and dignified in every way. This is good and pleasing in the sight of God, our Savior, who desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God, and there is one mediator between God and men, the man, Jesus Christ, who gave himself as a ransom for all, which is the testimony given at the proper time. We must pray for our leaders. We must pray that no matter who is the president, no matter who is running for office, that God would use them to bring himself glory first and foremost, and yeah. for God to be honored through whoever leads mm -hmm. our country or any nation on earth. Remember, God is sovereign. God is in control. Let's pray that our nation would turn away from wickedness, turn our hearts to God, and allow us to be a nation that serves God, honors God, so that we can be blessed again 
as a nation. But hey, let me know your thoughts about all this in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Wow, you guys, that was such an interesting one from Riggs. I really enjoyed every minute of this video and there's so much questions to be asked, especially when the police were tipped off that a man was on the roof, but they showed no consign. That leaves me to ask this question if they are in on it all. But let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below. I'm so glad that the shooter didn't hit the target. Otherwise, everything would have been so, so bad by now. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.